Harry and Meghan face backlash for Doe as I say, not as I do behavior after public family snap. Meghan Markle destroyed their wall of privacy with the release of their 2021 Christmas card. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been questioned over completely destroying their veil of privacy with the release of their 2021 Christmas card. This claim has been made by royal author and biographer Danielle Elzer in her new piece for the news.com.au page. Up until now, Harry and Meghan have assiduously, and totally understandably, shielded their little ones and done everything they can to minimize their exposure. She even added, whether wittingly or not, they have just managed to demolish that carefully crafted and maintained wall of privacy they have built around their kids. Plus, with Meghan now being a civilian, Ms. Elza believes she had no point in putting out a Christmas card at all. It is incredibly hard here to draw any conclusion, but that they must know what 24 carat PR this photo of the four of them represents and the incredible power and potency of this image of them as a damn near perfect modern family. Before concluding though she admitted, no matter what your views might be on Megxit or their decision to air all the royal family's dirty laundry on TV or to write a memoir or get chickens or get into bed with corporate giant after corporate giant, what is undeniable is that their new vitamin D dappled lives clearly suit them perfectly. Meghan Markle and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge got stuck in at Christmas after reports there was a rift between the pair, an unearthed account claims. In years gone by both royal women would have spent Christmas Day at Sandringham with the Queen in England. The royal's annual gathering at the monarch's country estate in Norfolk was cancelled this year because of Covid-19. The Queen's decision to axe her Sandringham plans came as cases of the virus have continued to soar across the UK this week due to the Omicron variant. When Christmas was held at Sandringham three years ago, Meghan and Kate got stuck in over a board game, an unearthed account claims. A royal insider told The Sun the meeting saw the pair heal their so-called drift, which had been reported in the media at the time. A source said, if German and British troops could put their differences to one side to play football during World War I, the feeling was Kate and Meghan could follow suit for Scrabble. After watching the Queen's speech, the board games were brought out and both women got stuck in. The insider added, pregnant Meghan wasn't drinking but Kate had a glass of wine or two, and everyone was in great spirits. They were chuckling along together. You wouldn't know there was any tension between the two. It was a wonderful day and night. In a rare statement in 2018, Kensington Palace spoke out on Meghan and Kate's relationship. A spokesperson denied reports the two had argued in the run-up to Meghan and Harry's wedding that year. They said, this never happened. Meghan also addressed reports about the relationship during her and Harry's dramatic interview with Oprah Winfrey earlier this year. The two-hour sit-down conversation with the US chat show host was broadcast on CBS and ITV in March. Meghan suggested her and Kate's relationship had been positive and said there wasn't a confrontation ahead of the wedding. Specifically, the pair denied claims that she had made Kate cry during the preparations ahead of her big day. Asked about the reports, the Duchess explained that she had actually been the one in tears after Kate had been upset over flower girl dresses. Meghan told Oprah, it was a really hard week of the wedding. She was upset about something, but she owned it, and she apologized, and she brought me flowers and a note apologizing. She did what I would do if I knew that I hurt someone. To just take accountability for it.